Hey guys, it is the Bronx Bochin Chara back with some hot new business. So, um, yesterday the winner of Miss Africa was from the Congo and she had a very big mishap while um, just finding out she won. Her hair caught on fire. I was, I read that it was a wig, that it was not actually her natural hair, but the devastation on her face is real. That shit looks crazy and I do feel very, very bad for her. That is embarrassing. That is not, it was just so, you could tell it was so much for her to cope with. At that moment, she just smiled. She just smiled. But when you're feeling the way she was feeling, you can just see it, it was like, smile and cracking and she tried she definitely very much tried to keep up her appearance on on stage and i gave it to her for that because i probably would have just started crying and for the other candidates who were just left like i feel bad for them too that's it's hard because now people are judging them like one girl she was like trying to like it looked like she got in shock herself and was like about to tap um the winner's hair but she was like like scared i guess but um with no further ado um i have the videos coming up right now i would urge you to not go under miss congo's like instagram and make fun of her this is not a laughing matter and these are real people um i'm putting this video out just because these videos were already out this is for entertainment pur purposes only not to be taken in any mean light um yeah so that's my disclaimer enjoy <laughs> There were tears, challenges, and wins. 25 countries, but only one can be crowned. Who will be next? Who will be crowned next? Catch all the- Okay, so as you saw, it was down to the last two contestants. And when Miss Congo's hair went on fire, I'm not sure where the other girl was from. She was in shock. I, I know I wasn't the only one that saw her face. She was like, she didn't know what to do. That is like, that is a very horrific thing to happen to anybody and to just experience to happen to somebody else. You get in a state of shock. So I definitely understand how she could just be like, because I have been in a situation where I was just like, oh my God, what do I do? And I, it's definitely hard. All right, so we're on to the next clip. Mm. This year, taking away 35,000 US dollars. Oh my and thank you to you at home for watching and everybody here. Thank you so, so very much. Thank you, of course, for a wonderful journey. Okay, so half of what just made that whole little situation even worse was the lady reaching over and wiping either the burnt hair off her neck or wiping her burned neck. We do not know how badly or severely burned she was. So, yeah, I think that that little part was just like, it added fuel to the flame. No pun intended. What a star you are. And you did amazing as well, Bonnie. Thank you very much for being amazing this evening. And of course, once again, congratulations to Miss Congo for being crowned Miss 2018 sure in Africa. Be... Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. it's time for us to party. It is. Are you ready? Yo, her fucking afro is so lopsided. It's like burnt up here and still out there. Like, that is serious. It is serious. I don't understand why they left her on the stage with that big check for so long. You need to hurry up, get her to medical. Give... Why does she even need to receive the check on stage? Something crazy just happened to her. Like, sometimes you do not go on with the show. Oh. So you guys let me know if you think the people who coordinated this, if this was at their fault for having fireworks, um, do you think it was her fault for maybe knowing that there was fireworks and still wearing a wig that was flammable? 
is there anybody else that you think there would be to blame or do you think this was just literally an accident and could happen to anybody so yeah just let me know leave your comments down below like comment and subscribe if you have something nice to say say it down below if you don't have anything nice to say don't say it keep it to yourself all right bye